not all of us are developers. Creating and running SQL queries is complex and hard. But now, thankfully, we have AI agents that can help. But there is a big difference between asking a LLM to query versus prompting an agent to research and source information. Let's see what that means in action. Enterprises run on data and finding actionable insights can be difficult. Here's how the process normally goes. Questions are asked. SQL queries designed, written, and then executed. Then new questions are asked and SQL queries are redesigned, rewritten, and re-executed. We go round and round until we get the results we want. We can try to optimize the process, but the questions normally come from business analysts and the queries normally go to the data teams. There's got to be a better way. Here we have a chat interface into a database search agent. This agent leverages natural language, taking in a query, figuring out the correct query and automatically adjusting that query to find what you need. Here we do a simple query asking for the price of a smartphone. The agent thinks for a moment and then comes back with a response. It looks simple and it works as expected. But let's take a moment and look at how this answer came about. When we look at the agent's thought process, we can see the SQL query created and the result. In this case, it was searching for iPhone 13 as one word all lowercase and without a space. Unfortunately, that returned no results as that isn't how the device shows up in the database. The agent tries again with a new SQL search, this time using a wildcard search for any product containing the string iPhone 13 as one word, all lowercase and without a space. Again, no results. For the third attempt, the agent then searches using a wildcard for any product containing iPhone. We get two results, and in this case, the agent responds back in natural language with the findings as we saw earlier. The agent is actually a multi-tiered agent where we have a planning agent that leverages multiple sub-agents. An easy way of thinking about this is how a professional kitchen works. There is a head chef taking the order, dividing the task up, and then leveraging other chefs to craft the final product. For example, the appetizers, the salad, the soup, the grill, the vegetables, the dessert, etc. They're all done by different people. Let's go behind the scenes. Here is the main planning agent. It flow is fairly straightforward. The key here is the system prompt snap. This snap has the system prompt, the information and context around what the agent will do, the behavior of the LLM, and the available tools that can be used. You can see this in the first few lines of the prompt. Further down, there are also descriptions of the sub-agents available. At the end, you see guidelines around what the response should look like. Another snap that I want to highlight is the one labeled pipe loop. This is a snap that operates like a function call. It allows the ability to execute other sub-agents and get those results back to the LLM for further logical processing. In this case, it is calling our planning agent that, based on the instructions from the main agent, either creates a new SQL query via the query agent or runs a query. Each of these loops will have the results passed back up and a decision made on the next steps. The three SQL query refinements that we saw earlier were three loops through query agent plus execution agent. Each loop being evaluated by the main pipeline and LLM to decide on the next steps. After we were successful at getting a query response, the agent crafts the final reply in human natural language using the response agent. Here's a quick look at what that sub-agent looks like.
With this Snap Logic Agent Creator Agent, you can see how it's possible to allow self-service capabilities for database query. This means that teams can use natural language to search databases, finding what they need, while saving the time and resources of your data teams to focus on the harder, more complex tasks at hand. To learn more, visit us at snaplogic.com.